All right, page three was quite possibly the easiest page in your assignment. All right, when we write something in slope intercept form, all we have to do is write down uh, y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y intercept, right? So this number in front of x is always the slope. So it's this easy. Slope is one fifth, and your y intercept is the constant. Okay, in fancy terms, we could say that slope is the coefficient of x, and the y intercept is the constant. All right, so again, here we go slope, negative four, y intercept, positive four. Slope for number three is negative two, my y intercept is two. My slope for this guy is four, and my y intercept is, don't forget the negative negative 10. Let's continue. The slope for this guy is negative 4 thirds and the y-intercept is 1. So if I was actually going to graph that, I would start on the y-intercept. I'd put a dot on 1, right? And then I would go down 4 to the right 3, down 4 to the right 3, and that would be my graph. All right, so here we go. The slope is negative 5 and my run is negative 3. Oh, I said that wrong. Sorry. My slope is negative 5 and my y-intercept is negative 3. Okay. Sorry. I got slope in my mind. Okay. Here we go. The slope, the coefficient x is negative 5 halves and the y-intercept is negative 1. And the slope here is negative 6 and my y-intercept is negative 3. And the final problems. Should I sing again? All right. The slope is 2 thirds and the y-intercept is 1. And the last problem, the slope is three halves. You say, might say, why don't we write that as one and a half? And uh, we don't usually write that because if we were actually going to graph it, I'd have to rise one and a half and then run one. So that's kind of sloppy. We don't like to do that. We just like rising three and running two. It's easier. Okay. And the y-intercept is three. And guys, that's how easy the last page is. Or the page three. It's not the last page. Page three. I still have two more pages. Okay, um, so stay tuned. Let's go over the next two pages.